The setting options for scan behaviors are linear, or scanning one button at a time, row column, the scan moves row by row and then across each column, column row, the scan moves across the columns and then down each row, and group, the scan moves through designated groups and then continues in a linear, row, or column pattern. Selecting the scan pattern will indicate how the scan will move through the software. Let's describe each option and see them in action. The linear pattern will start at the top and move in a linear pattern, left to right, scanning item by item on the screen until the user makes a selection. The row column pattern will start by scanning a full row, one at a time. It will start from the top and move down row by row. When the user activates the switch, keyboard, or mouse, the scan will continue by scanning each button within that row, moving in a linear pattern across each column. The column row pattern will start by scanning a full column one at a time, starting from the left and move to the right. Once the switch is activated, the scan will continue by scanning each button within the column, moving down each row within that column until the user makes a selection. The final scan pattern to discuss is group scanning. With group scanning, the scan will progress through scan groups. A scan group is an area containing buttons that scan as a single unit. The order in which these groups are scanned is determined in the settings menu. When the scan group is selected by the user, the buttons within that area are then scanned by either row, column, or in a linear pattern depending on the setting options.